A strike at Paris's main airport on Thursday is adding to a summer of chaos for European travellers. Workers at Charles de Gaulle are demanding more pay. A quarter of all flights from the airport are cancelled. Marie Marivel is an airport worker. En fait, avec la reprise, la reprise des vols, flights are picking up, and we didn't expect it to happen so fast. In our company, lots of people left on retirement, for example, and our company is struggling to find new employees. Paris could be just one front in a summer of labour unrest. In Italy, crews from Ryanair, EasyJet and others walked out on Wednesday. Ryanair cabin crew may also strike this summer after the firm's talks with Spanish unions broke down. It all comes at a critical time for the travel industry. After being battered by lockdowns, airlines were banking on a strong summer to offset soaring fuel costs. Major tourism destinations also need a travel rebound to revive their economies. But airlines and airports have already faced chaos and sweeping flight cancellations due to staff shortages. Spain this week announced the hiring of 500 new police to work at passport controls. Airports in Dublin and London are rushing to recruit more security screeners, while Amsterdam's Schiphol is raising wages. Now European travellers will hope that strikes and shortages don't mean another summer of cancelled holiday plans.